Hi everyone, my name is Mike, I'm from the Burp Suite desktop development team and today I'm here to talk to you about the new tool we've recently added to Burp Suite called Organizer. So we've been speaking to users and one of the recent pain points we identified was that people were having trouble collating interesting requests and responses that they found while pen testing and evaluating web applications. Let me jump into Burp Suite and I can show you what I mean. So that was a good, well-timed automatic backup. So here I am on the dashboard. If I move over to the repeater tab, you can see that um, I've tried to collate all the interesting requests with their responses in repeater using repeater tabs. Now this is okay, it works kind of well, um, but the issue is that we're not able to filter, search or sort these results and we're not able to accompany it with any free text data. So if I find anything out at the time, I'm not able to store that alongside the request and responses, which I can then come back to later to help jog my memory. So if I jump over to Organizer, which is a new tool on the top level tab, we can see that it's currently empty. So let's add some things to it. You can add requests and their responses to Organizer using the Send to Organizer feature, which you can find in the context menu, or you can use the Send to Organizer hotkey, uh, which is mapped to Command O on Mac, uh, and would be Control O in Windows and Linux. So if I send a few requests over with their responses, we can see that they've entered the Organizer table with the new status. Now, the status column is a new feature in Burp that allows you to keep track of where this request is up to in your testing workflow. So if you're not interested in it anymore, furthermore, if you don't want to see it anymore, you can delete using the context menu. Once you select one of the entries in the organizer, you can see the request and response in the editors below. And you can also see that we've added a new notes free text uh, editor here. So you can add any additional information that you want. Uh, for example, um, hello. So that data will then be stored alongside your request and response in your project file. So the next time you open Burp, all of that will be available to you, even in six months time, when you've forgotten completely about where you found this uh, and what it meant. Similar to other places in Burp, we have filter and sorting functionality being a table. And we also have a free text search field, which search the request, response, and notes um, if you're looking for something specific. Finally, if I jump back to repeater, we've also added the new notes pane to the sidebar in the repeater tool. So as you're manually evaluating a website, you found something interesting, you can add some notes to the request and response and send it over to organizer. So if I jump here, I can see that it's come from the repeater tool and the notes have been passed across. It's important to note that organizer entries are snapshots of the original. They're not linked to the original. So any changes made to the version in repeater will not come across to organizer. You'll need to send that across and uh, create a new entry. That's all for me for now. Uh, we're always working on organizer. We are hoping to add Montori API support in the very near future. So look out for that. And if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. Thank you.